Hello guys, what's going on? So it's a video and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. So last we left off, we were showing off the beautifulness of none other than Diego over there. I'm just like, oh shit, where'd Diego go? No, Diego's right there. We're showing off the beautifulness of our new Sabertooth Diego. And today I want to show off the epicness. Well, I don't actually know if it's epic, but I just want to do a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of work on our humble home upstairs, not upstairs, but up above the waterfall. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, arguably a lot of stuff, probably become over encumbered to the point where we can't move. Ah, this is quite the predicament we find ourselves in. Uh, let's drop off the narcotic then. I believe that should be good and we can at least move around then. Hopefully we can go hop on Diego, do some work there. There's some metal schmelt in here and we got some more upstairs. I do want to make a stone hatchet. We'll do that in a bit though. Because that stone hatch will be awesome for getting more rock and getting more wood, which we are going to need for this anyway. For now, though, if we actually can do this, this is going to be a bit of a bit of a walk here to Diego. I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, okay, that was weird. It didn't get on him for a sec. I got scared. No, that's good. That's good. Oh uh, yeah, you guys really seem to like Diego so far. So thank you for that. Seriously, all the comments you left. Uh, seriously, I do appreciate it. Diego seems to be. Uh, you guys seem to like him so far, which I'm I'm digging too. Diego's kind of a fucking tank. Not gonna lie. And uh, we might have to do some more hunting with him today, but the focus of today is going to be working on our base up here and trying to transform it into stone because this new stone is, uh, I think it's it's pretty much between wood and, uh, what is it? It's between wood and the other thing. In this case, ah shit, we can't jump. Alright, let's uh, actually, let's just craft up the stone wall then. Maybe that'll be a bit lighter. Who knows? Let's just craft up the stone wall. We're going to be one wood short of crafting another one. Can we jump now? Yeah, that actually did clear up a lot of space. Holy shit. Uh, and then let's uh, go hit a tree real quick. So we're actually one piece of wood away from crafting up another one of these. But yeah, it's pretty much the uh, stone wall. They're in between wood and metal structures. You can even see that over here on the engram learning thing. Here we have all our wood structures beginning. Here we have the stone wall. I don't know if there's other stone stuff actually. I, that's, I only noticed the stone wall out of everything. Not really seeing any other stone stuff, and uh, as you can see, that is kind of in. It kind of comes after the basic wood stuff, and then metal starts happening. So really, the only thing I think that there is right now, correct me if I'm wrong, is the uh, stone walls. So it's not like the hugest variety of stuff, if that makes sense. But uh, you know, I'm just gonna hit this with my pickaxe too. We should get a piece of wood from that anyway, and get a shit ton of thatch along the way. Yeah, so win-win there. I mean, metal, like, metal tools are insane. That's why I want to get the stone hatchet. Not stone hatchet. The metal, uh, metal hatchet crafted. That thing is going to be amazing. Like I was saying, you know, it's going to be amazing. Our brand new home. And I do want to check out the stats on these stone walls, see how they look, everything. And hopefully it'll be good. It might look weird because we don't have a stone doorway. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Hyperthermal insulation, negative 25. Hypothermal, 98. Okay, I think that's our heat stats. I don't know, I just randomly noticed that, I guess. Let's craft up that stone wall, and then we're also going to want to get some wood and probably get a storage box, actually, for our home. And uh, here we got the walls. Let's go ahead and do something with these bad boys. We're going to replace that right there. And let's look at these stats. Okay, so stat-wise, it's the exact same as wood. Um, okay. Why exactly is it the exact same as wood? Maybe if we, let's see, if we hit it with a pick, how much damage does that do? That does one. If we hit this with a pick, does 13. Oh, holy shit. Um, okay, so stone walls are a lot more durable than wood, actually. Holy, hmm. Those actually are a lot better than wood. Holy crap. Stone hatches don't even do damage to this, but like using the metal pick. Metal pick did 13 to this. Whereas the stone did one damage. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, okay, so, I mean, statistically speaking here, I'm just pulling this number out of some of the stats we saw because we did 13 damage to that and one damage to that. Again, I don't have any, like, in-game stats to back this up. Just kind of the sample size we've done. Uh, stone walls are about 13 times more effective. Let's take into account a little bit of error, you know, maybe because this was, like, 1.3 or something. I'm going to say stone walls are about... 10 times better than wood, at least damage-wise. They do have the same health, but damage-wise, they seem to be about that much. So, uh, fuck yeah, I want my house to be made out of this. Thank you very much. Uh, that's amazing. How does it look like on the inside? Uh, hmm. Looks like we're going to be living in a cottage or something. This is awesome. I wish we could have a doorway for it, though it doesn't appear like there's... 
<sighs> wow, that actually saddens me quite a bit. I was... Aw. Uh, that would have been really cool. I'm loving this shit. Stone wall, that is awesome. Holy crap. That actually makes me really sad that there's another stone stuff. Probably gonna do to learn the Schmitty and stuff, too, because we do have to start furnishing our house here with some uh, stuff. Speaking of that, I want to get a large storage chest going, so we should probably get a little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, a little bit of fiber here, and then we'll focus on trying to get some more stone walls. I mean, the goal is to this thing in stone, albeit we do have the window here, which actually everyone seems to love so far. <laughs> Not gonna lie, people really love the window. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, stone-wise, all we can really do is the walls, so... That kind of sucks, but at the same time, I mean, it's better than nothing, and it makes our walls absolutely ridiculous, so... I'm not complaining. Now then, let's go ahead and try to grab up some of this stuff. Again, we just need, like, I think four fiber, literally so soon. Yeah, right there, boom. That's enough fiber. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of thatch, a little bit of wood. It should be pretty easy here, especially with our metal pick. Thatch is not gonna be a problem. Wood! This is not going to be a problem soon, too. I mean, just wait until we get the dinosaurs and shit. Like, if we get a mammoth tamed. Oh. Do you know how easy it'll be to get wood and how much of it we'll have? It's going to be insane. I seriously can't wait. But for now, just get a bunch of this thatch. It's about 30. That should be plenty for a good chunk of stuff. But I'll well continue chopping down a couple of these trees because there's a hell of a lot of it. It is raining, so might as well fill up a couple of our water skins while we're at it. Probably want to get some... Hmm... Probably want to get some stuff cooking on the fire? Uh, not the fire, but the whatchamacall. No, 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 we do want to get some food cooking on the fire, because you can probably see our food starting to dwindle down a little bit there. So we're going to run and do that really quick. As soon as we get a little bit of this wood. I'll chop down like one more tree, then we'll book it. I just got to start getting them. I'm, I'm probably just going to use the metal hatchet for getting, whatchamacall, getting stone. That's probably going to be a lot faster. I think there was like a stegosaur around here. I kind of just want to kill it to kill it. Do we kill for sport here? Now we'll let the stegos live for now. For now. They got to know that they're not safe though. Now then, let's craft up what I've wanted to craft up for a while, which is going to be this stone. Not stone. Why do I keep saying stone? This metal hatchet. It's going to be awesome and our tools are just going to keep on getting better. Our collection rates are going to get better. I'm excited. We got these two metal ingots I've been cooking up. And upstairs, I believe that we have six metal ingots waiting to go. If that's the case, we should have, pretty soon, a metal hatchet waiting to go. Yep, eight ingots. Should have plenty of wood? We do. We only need one wood, eight ingots, ten hide, and now we can have a metal hatchet on our hands. We had one of these before in the caves, until uh, disaster struck, apparently. Uh, but, hey, you know, those things happen sometimes. You just gotta learn to live with it, I guess. Now we have ourselves a metal hatchet. We should be able to do a hell of a lot more work and get a hell of a lot more wood and stuff, so... Are we able to furnish our house now? Do we have the large storage box? Nice. Hopefully that fits. I don't know if that'll fit in a... Because we have kind of a lowish roof, so... I guess we'll have to see. And then we need stone walls, so... Bunch of stone, bunch of that. Alright, let's test out the stone then on some of these rocks and see just how much we get. I'm curious to see how good this might be. Genuinely curious. Let's see. This waterfall is the lowest frames ever, though. Uh... Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not... Fantastic, actually. It's kind of, you know, run-of-the-mill. Nothing amazing here, stone-wise. Uh, let's go break a couple more rocks. I was expecting it to be better with stones. Maybe it's just for wood, then? And I don't know. I mean, worst-case scenario, if we really want stone, we could just go picking shit up off the beach. Also, yeah, just hold E when you're running around. You'll just pick up stones all over the place. Not even hold it, just continuously click it, I guess. Don't want to be incorrect with what I say here. I mean, it's really not that hard to pick up stone. I mean, it can kind of be annoying, but with our location, straight up, there's just stones everywhere on the beach. It's so easy. Just click E, you're just going to continuously pick them up. Easy peasy, lemon, motherfucking squeezy. And then, let's see, maybe like the river rocks drop less stone or something. I don't know. Let's just, let's just see. Maybe this will give us more stone-wise. Uh, I mean, it's not awful, but it doesn't really seem better than a stone hatchet. I can't really complain, though, because, I mean, it's still decent. We're getting, like, what, seven stone, eight stone out of each rock. Yeah, we got ten stone out of that. I mean, I can't really complain about that. I'm not one to complain about a good thing. Uh, we have enough stone for another wall there. And, I mean, we should just be able to get stone up there now that I think about it. But let's try to hit up a couple of these. 
try to at least get two walls done today. Or two additional walls. And hopefully within one of the next updates they do add more stone structures and or... I, I don't know, do you guys in the comments know anything about these stone structures? Like if they have plans of adding it or anything? Like I, I feel like they added more than the stone walls, but I don't know. Let's, how's the wood collection? Uh, pretty good. I mean, it doesn't really seem that much more amazing. Actually, never mind. It seems to be pretty good now. <laughs> we're getting there. The more we use it, the more we're realizing it's actually not too shabby. Alright, now as soon as we waddle our way over to Diego, because, you know, as soon as we get over this number, we forget how to run. So let's hop on Diego, who is a fucking tank. And he'll be able to take us wherever the hell we want. Jump around, jump, jump, jump around. And get up here. We should be able to furnish our home a bit and start stashing some of our stuff, because I don't want to really have stuff in the communal home, because... There's some shenanigans, shenanigans go on, alright? When people spawn in, you know, this is including me too, like, I've done it before in the past, I've cut it out though, but, uh, things go missing around the communal house. You know, because some people might think that, I, I mean, it's not entirely always other people's fault, because sometimes, like, I don't know, just la lack of communication, I guess. But, uh, sometimes, like, people grab something that someone else, someone else's was, and it's like, I don't know, because it, the entire thing is pretty much communal. So it's like everything seems open when in reality it isn't, so I I don't know. I mean, I'm not really complaining about it though because that'd make me a hypocrite because I've done that in the past, I admit to it. So I can't really complain, I'm just saying that's kind of why I do want to move out. That way I'm less tempted to do it to other people too. Although people have pretty much started moving out and making all their own bases at this point, so... This is a nice little humble start for us. We do have that nice... This is actually... Stone is beautiful, and this is going to make our base so much stronger. Once we could get, like, stone everything else, this is, uh... You know, it's not on par with metal, but fuck me if it's not up there. And, I mean, this window. I can never get over that. It's so beautiful. We can just, like... Like, we can just rain hell on our friends if we really wanted to. Look at that. Beautiful. You can't do that any anywhere else. You really can't. Okay. Now then, let's furnish the area. Hopefully this shit fits. No, it doesn't. We need a higher ceiling. Shit. Okay. That's awkward. Let's pick up some fiber. I guess we'll just get a normal box going for the time being. And as soon as we expand, make a second floor, all that stuff, we'll start doing the large storage boxes. But right now, it seems that... Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. God damn it. I thought it would, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a reason our house is, like, too, too high, so... That would make sense. I mean, mm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have confidence in us. And it's going to take some wood, but we'll just make some renovations inside the house. I mean, it's going to be a nice little base up here, though. And it's a really nice position, too. I do like it, especially the whole overlooking the entire valley. That's fucking cool. Seriously, if I was a real estate agent, I'd be, like, top of my class. I'd be the one... I'm the 1% of real estate agents in ARC. All right? If you need some land, let me know. I'm going to hook you up with what matters. Now let's make the storage box, which kind of sucks. We're going to use those materials for crafting up another stone wall, but whatever. we got to go gathering anyway. And we should be able to throw at least the storage box down. I'll just do that, like, next to the bed, I guess. Because we're not really going to be building anything here. So let's... There we go. And let's just make it, like, as close to the bed as possible. want to capitalize on space. And let's throw definitely that in there, because we can't use that until we expand our house. Uh, the Trank Arrows... Definitely, those are actually pretty valuable. Flint is going to be nice for making a shit ton more arrows. Keratin is actually pretty valuable. And, uh, I'm not really sure what else. I don't know, god damn, it's going to be nice in here though. I just got to get us like some kind of constant light source and, uh, it's going to be looking good. Definitely going to be looking good. Now, all we got to do is go and collect some more of those rocks, which there's a couple rocks jutting out here we can probably break. And all we need is ten stone. Go chop down probably just a tree or two, and we should be good there. And, oh my god, there's actually a lot of rocks up here. Holy crap. I actually didn't realize this, but up here, up above, like, the wa like the water, pretty much where we are. I don't know why I was, that was so difficult for me to word. There's a lot of rocks. I didn't realize that till now. There's a lot of rocks. Speaking of that, we gotta get some of that food cooking. Uh, this might be a good opportunity to just throw down our own fire, which is going to use up some more of those materials we were trying to save, but... I mean, it's whatever. It's used up 16 stones, that's the biggest thing, but we have stones up the butthole, so that's not really a problem. And let's throw this fire here and start, you know, just start being independent. Start being us. 
That's the hope. That's the plan. Let's throw this fire. And I do want to, like, capitalize on space here because it's not the biggest room right now. So we do want to, like, capitalize on space here. And this is the best way to do it. There we go. The campfire. We will throw our four wood in there. And let's fucking get some meat off Diego before we starve. We gotta make a pen for Diego, too. I mean, for now, we can just continue keeping him down there, but... Uh, definitely want, like, a little pen or something. And we'll just, yeah, split up the meat that way, get that cooking real quick. And then we'll move Diego back down to his pen. For him to go have... Go, go, go be friends with Royal Saber. What's his name again? Kermit, right? Kermit the Saber. <laughs> Oh, Royal, you and your naming schemes. Anyway, it's going to get that cooking. You know, up a little bit. And honestly, I think that's about going to do it for the episode. I mean, at this point, uh, I mean, next episode, we might be back doing multiplayer stuff with our friends. If not, we're going to finish up the base, probably expand it a little bit. Uh, if we have a lot of resources, which I'm hoping we'll have, because I'm actually no, maybe, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But definitely, like, I do want to make this in a two floor thing. Probably just replace one of these with like a ladder. And then expand to the second floor, hopefully even make it a bit wider too, like we got options and then I'll hopefully do some stuff with the stone walls as well because these stone walls are sexy. <laughs> That's all I can say, so let me get this food cooking. And then hopefully not starve to death, there we go, already got some of that food cooked. And we're gonna go ahead and bring Diego down and call it a day there, so I mean thank you all so much for watching the video, hope you did enjoy it, as always if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. it, signing out, love you guys, see ya.